Fernando Alonso's retirement incoming. Good old Fernando Alonso is 42 years old. He's a two-time Formula 1 world champion and has won 32 races. Last year he seemed full of fire in a car that was good enough to challenge the mighty Red Bull with Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez behind the wheel. Unfortunately for him and us, the Aston Martin package this season is lacking and the fights are more to get points than to get podiums. I think this might be Alonso's final season in F1. I'm Wimbo, here's 3 seconds to leave a like. Last season In the 2023 Formula 1 season, Fernando Alonso scored 8 podiums, 3 of which were 2nd places. Especially the race in Monaco is one that he should have won. If his team had fitted him with intermediates instead of medium tyres, he would have come out on top of Max Verstappen who had just beaten him a day earlier in quali. In the first half of the season, it looked like they only needed a little bit of performance to launch a proper attack on Red Bull who at the time were still restricted in the wind tunnel and CFD time they had. That was because Red Bull won the constructors but also because of the minor breach they had in 2021. Dan Fallows and his development team continued to try and get more performance on the car but that didn't work as planned and in the second half of the season Aston Martin and Alonso dropped off the fifth place in the standings. The confident attitude Alonso had turned into a more quiet and reserved stance and I already noticed a difference in his behavior. To me, it was clear that Alonso was focusing on 2024 already. And as always, it's the hope that kills you. A lot was hanging on Aston Martin coming out of the blocks like they did in 2023, in 2024. Lawrence Stroll is very ambitious and has everything in place to become a title contender just in time for a driver in his heydays. Are the prospects for 2024 as good as the start of 2023 was? This season. The 42 year old didn't start the season like he did last season, as was expected after testing at the Sakir track. All the experts were making their estimations on where team ranked before the first race and it was clear that Aston Martin is in the subgroup below Ferrari and Red Bull. Their biggest competitors are Mercedes and McLaren. The AMR24 seems to be okay in qualifying in the hands of the Spaniard, but it drops off in the race. It is believed that the car struggles with a full tank of fuel. I'm not a technical YouTuber, so I'd love to hear what's wrong with the AMR24. In Bahrain, Alonso finished P9 after qualifying in P6, and in Saudi Arabia he finished P5 after qualifying in P4. Now, it's not too bad considering where they were in 2022, but you can tell that Alonso isn't pleased. The twinkle is not in his eyes, something we saw all the time last year in 2023. I admire Nando's fighting spirit, having been so close to championships and then losing out. It was always kind of amusing to see him join a team full of hope and then see him leave while burning the bridges. I do remember how deflated he was after his second stint at McLaren. The team believed they had the quickest chassis and forced Honda to make a tiny engine that fit into it. That made the package super unreliable and super slow, like a GP2 engine. I also believe he saw the trouble at the horizon at Alpine and got out of there before the shit hit the fan. And seeing where Alpine are now, he clearly did the right thing. So is he seeing problems at the team formerly known as Racing Point 2? Does he also want Lance Stroll to go away and do something else? Is he afraid that if he stays, he'll be going through the motions of being an F1 driver without the enjoyment of having success? I just wonder if he can keep that up for another couple of years. He did speak about this very thing in an interview with Sky Sports F1. What did he say? Before I tell you what Alonso revealed in this Sky interview, I want to take a few seconds to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My next goal is to reach 2k subscribers and with your help, I'll get there. I make two videos per week, I do live streams and a podcast monthly. Subscribing is free of course, and if you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe. Thanks a million. Fernando Alonso was asked about what he wanted to see in the next three or four races before deciding on his career. He explained that it depended on how he went through the trips, the planes, the time zone differences, and physically how he feels after the first run of races. He expressed that he still loves racing very much and that he dedicates himself 100% to the race and to the team. However, to dedicate himself the full 100% for the future, he needs to find out 
if he can keep doing that. He doesn't want to be selfish and just sign and do it for fun. If he's there in F1, he wants to do well and he needs to talk to himself in order to commit. He was asked if it was in the team he is now or in another team. He answered that he needed to agree with himself first if he still has the drive to do it, pointing out that he's sacrificing other things in life. After that, he will look around to see what's the best possibility for him. But he's not at that stage yet. So I'd say that the possibility of Alonso retiring is just as great as him staying on. What do you think? I sense that Alonso will try to get the best seat available and when that's not an option, he'll retire. We all know that the silly season will be ridiculous this season. It already is with Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes for Ferrari. Who would have thought a few years ago that there was a possibility of Max Verstappen leaving Red Bull for Mercedes, although that noise has died down a bit already. I'm sure that the Mercedes seat is interesting for him. He gets along really well with George Russell despite their age difference. And even with Mercedes not completely grasping the ground effect regulations, it's a better team than Aston Martin. If Verstappen was to leave Red Bull, he'd obviously go for the Milton Keys team. And that would be kind of epic, not gonna lie. There is, however, a big chance that the better teams find him too old and too much hassle with his personality. Then I think it's time for him to hang up his racing suit. On one hand, it'll be so sad to see him go. On the other hand, it will free a spot for a youngster. We've seen how much fun it is to root for a kid like Behrman, who made his debut for Ferrari in Saudi Arabia. We know fresh blood won't come through via a new team, so we need some oldies to free up their spot. Poor Felipe Drogovic is only at the races to assist Will Buxton as co-host, and he's a Formula 2 champ. I'm sure we can hear the based opinions of the man from Oviedo on matters once he's pundit for Spanish TV or something. He will be even more cheeky, no doubt. So do you think he'll retire? Will he leave Aston Martin? What team will he join then? Let's argue in the comments. Subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei.